Now from the windy city of Chicago, baseball from beautiful Wrigley Field. Tonight, it's a matchup from the NL Central between the Pittsburgh Pirates and the Chicago Cubs. Live baseball here on MLB Network, and it comes your way next. You Darvish will be on the bump for game two of the series. What do you have for us on him, Danny? You Darvish is what you look at when you're looking for an ace. Big, strong guy came over from Japan, 95 to 97 miles an hour, all the way back from Tommy John surgery. Has the curveball, the changeup, and the slider. Will throw any pitch at any count. One Pittsburgh. of the top pitchers the of the game. Fielder, and six. you'll know early if he's Starling. seeing a lot of swings and Mark misses Head. and strikeouts, it's going to be a long day for those guys swinging the bats. Well, guys, as we look at the Cubs coming into play here tonight, four and two over their last six games, including a win last time out. Yeah, Maddie, the first game of any series is super important. You have a chance to set the tone, whether it's three game set or a four game set. You take the first one, you put that other team on their heels. Here it comes on nothing and two. And this is swung on and missed on a great pitch that time. And the leadoff man is down on strikes to get this one started. A chance here to check out the starting lineup for the visiting the Pirates. Dero, tell us about this lineup as they try to force a rubber match in the series. Matt, do you take a look at this lineup? I find myself thinking back to my playing days when I knew I had the ace on the mound. It had to be win day. And when you get in a car to drive to the yard, you tell yourself, even though you felt bad about it, just get two or three. All the pressure's on the big boy to have to execute, and he usually does. Look for this lineup to try and execute and score, manufacture one or two runs early in this one. Adam Frazier is at the plate now, and he takes a cold strike. And it'll be important to stay warm tonight. A chilly 44 degrees here at first pitch. Bases are empty, one man out. Whoa. Too high, one and two. You know, Matty, I'm not surprised by that pitch. Raise the eye level a little bit. Maybe we get something bouncing in the dirt right here. The one, two. Whoa. Lays off, two and two now. Two Looked to two. be a pitch that caught a lot of the plate right there, so that might be a little indication of the strike zone we can expect the rest of the way. And a swing and a miss as they got him with the slider there, two away. The main job of the number one and two hitters is to That's set the third. middle of the order up the with an opportunity to do number some damage. 16. So when you strike both of them out, you're putting yourself in a pretty good position to make it through the teeth of the lineup without a whole lot of stress. He comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. There's a fastball right down Broadway taken for a strike. Hey, I know it's early and we're in the first right here. But he's going to have to work that heater to both sides of the plate. He cannot get away with missing over the heart of the plate all night. And it's quickly 0 and 2. Working on striking out the side in the first. Inside as that perhaps will back him off a bit. 1 and 2. Time for a look at the umpires working this one. Behind the plate is Daryl Parker. Well, Dero, Daryl Parker behind the dish, and you never really know what you're going to get from this guy. Yeah, sometimes, and I'd hate to be mean and say he flips a coin back there because that's not the case. But as an offensive player, you have to find a consistent zone. You just can't. And it's fouled away. Classic change of speeds right there. Threw the hitter's timing off. Got a late foul ball. Interested to see where he goes now. And he struck him out. So a fine inning here as he strikes out the side in order. Down in order go the Pirates. Now the Cubbies will get their first crack. No score. Jamison Tyon is on the mound for game two. What's your take on him, Dan? Hey, his last one was good. I'm sure he'd like to pitch a little bit better. Was able to get into the seventh inning. Got a no decision in his last one. He needs to get off to a good start here to try to get him and the team in the win column. Here's Ben Zobris now. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the Leading first. The the first offering on its way. Zobris. Fastball too high to start him out here, 1-0. 
Dero, Dan, we look at this Pirates ball club as they enter play here tonight. They dropped another one last time out, and in fact, they've won just twice in their last eight tries. Yeah, guys, dropping yesterday was a heartbreaker without question. But you know what? You find a way. You show up to the yard today, you get out of the cab, and you watch countless hours of video, and you try and formulate a game plan to get this back to 500. One and one to start the road trip, and you're moving in the right direction. And he'll lay the fastball in here to get the count back to two and one. And it's two balls and two strikes now. Hey, back when I first broke into the big leagues, a lot of the pitchers wanted to work east to west. Now with such an uptick in velocity, these guys are working north-south. That's just a great elevated fastball with serious velocity on it. Three and two, full count. And he takes ball four. So the leadoff man is on here in the home half of the first in a scoreless ball game. Batting second, the third baseman. Here's Chris Bryant now, his batter pitcher line against Jamison Tyone. Just a two for 14 line, so advantage pitcher here. He's taken him deep once. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. And oh, this one's by him to the backstop. And forget about the double play now as he'll move up to second here on the wild pitch. And this is what happens when a power hitter is at the plate. You don't want to give him anything in the zone, and sometimes that leads to those tough to handle wild pitches. There's a chance they just put him on first now to avoid him doing any real damage. And he lays off a fastball here that looked pretty good, but it's 2-0. Tough situation for him right here. I mean, he's got an open base, so he doesn't have to get into this guy, but there's definitely danger looming on deck, so you can't just completely work around him either. Two balls and a strike. One strike. This pitch is popped up, and he'll lunge forward to make the catch for the first out. And now time to check how Joe Madden has lined the Cubbies up in this one. What's this club going to need to focus on this evening, Mark? Yeah, Maddie, this team poses a lot of problems offensively. This is a scary lineup because they can beat you in a variety of ways. Not only do they have power in the middle of the order, but a ton of speed that can put some serious pressure on the defense. Now with the plate, Anthony Rizzo. He'll get to take his first cuts here. First pitch coming. Here it is. Swing, line, drive. That's going to be trouble. The run comes across to score, and they jump ahead 1-0. And he will pull into second with an RBI double. That's what every manager is looking for out of the middle of his lineup. When you get your three, four, five hitters producing this early in the season, it can be contagious, and everyone on the lineup starts to contribute. Here's Javier Baez. As he'll take a look at a high strike that time, it's nothing in one. He's ready for his first at bat of this early season contest. There's a breaking ball that couldn't quite catch the inside. Line towards center field. And that's in there. Base hit. Now it's cut off. A throw to the plate. On the tag from Cervelli. He's out at the plate. Digging in now, Kyle Schwarber. And a great chance here for the Cubbies to add on in just the first inning. Here comes the first pitch. It's a high fly ball headed for the left field corner. If it stays fair, it's gone. And he pushed it just a bit too much and wind up a foul ball. 
Comes set. The 0 1. There's strike two on a fastball right down the middle. There seem to be different philosophies on it. So, Dan, what was your approach in 0 2 counts? My philosophy is this I, I think the last thing you want to do is throw non competitive pitches, Matt. Throw something down in the zone or just out of the zone, but something way out of the zone doesn't serve any purpose. From the stretch, the one two misses ball two. He executed that one two curveball pretty well. I think it's right where he wanted it to end up, but he couldn't get him to chase at it. We'll see what they go with now after that didn't work out. The two two. And that's low, so a good eye there as he works the count back full. Some pitchers fall into the trap of getting in on three and two because they don't want to walk the guy. But with the base open, it's not the end of the world if you do. You still need to make a quality pitch. This one is launched. Look at this. Into the bleachers and gone. So it's a two run homer for Kyle Schwarber home run number three here in the early going and the Cubs have taken a three nothing lead. I'm sure you know it's coming after that bomb. That's right. Let's check it out on show track and as the numbers come in we see it was projected at over 450 feet an incredible home run to watch. Here's the young catcher Wilson the Contreras. Wilson. As he lifts it in the air to right field. Polanco will reach out with one hand to make the catch on the move and that ends the inning. But they strike for three in the inning. Two on this two run home run. Second inning coming up. It's three nothing Chicago. Leading off the inning, Corey Dickerson, as they'll look to get something going here and even this game up. Hey, we're still in the early stages in this one. They're only down by a couple of runs, but it's really key for this leadoff guy to try to get on and get a big inning started. Love jumping out to an early 3 nothing lead, but this game is far from over. A lot of innings left to be played. He's going to have to continue to execute out on that mound. Now the one and one pitch. Fastball at the letters and he turns on it hits it high and deep out to center field and he's going to have room to put this one away and that's the first out. So here's how the Chicago Cubs are positioned defensively and let's focus on Anthony Rizzo not only a gold glove winner this guy has won a platinum glove bailing out his infielders time and time again with his soft hands and feel for the game. At the plate, Gregory Polanco. And he's definitely off to a fast start in the early part of the season. Zero. Swing and a miss, and he's behind 0-1. As this game progresses, I don't think he's going to want to miss in that spot down the middle of the plate much more. It's early. They're a little less aggressive right okay. now, so he's able to get away with it. Behind 0-2 now. He takes strike three called on the fastball. Couldn't pull the trigger and there are two away. Wow his stuff looks electric coming out of gates in this one guys. That's five batters face four strikeouts. That's going to be a tough pace to keep up but it looks like he has what it takes to work deep into this game. Here's the catcher Francisco Cervelli out in front of it strike one. He'll work on keeping this top of the second alive. Nothing in one count. Here it comes. Nope. Breaking ball that time that misses out of the zone. It's swung on and hit in the air toward the line and right. And that'll get down for a base hit. So the two out hit keeps the inning hot and brings in Josh Bell. Boy, this was a good start that for the pitcher. Seven. First five first guys, base, five up, five five. down, but the number John. six hitter proved to be a little well. bit more difficult, and that's a bullet hit. Yeah, absolutely right there, Dan. Just a nice A-B by the six-hole guy after watching his first five brethren take a seat. 
First pitch fastball swung on and missed 0 1. And he's definitely off to a fast start in the early part of the season. Hoping to send him packing. Pitch on its way. Hit down the line at first. Cervelli, the runner at first with two gone. And he popped him up over toward the left side of the infield. Bryant is there, and the side is retired. Pirates leave one, still down 3 nothing. Here's Jason Hayward now. His batter pitcher Leading line against Jamison Tyone. He's a 3.33 hitter. Jason. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Fastball well outside. In there and it's even at one. A nice adjustment right there for him to get on top of that baseball and drive it to the corner. The first pitch he obviously tried to overthrow got under it and it sailed on him a little bit. Uh, and that fastball is too much for him there. One and two. To short. Throws in time and that's out number one. Take a look at the Pittsburgh Pirates defensive lineup. And guys, one thing I want you to focus on today when you look at this team on the defensive side of the ball, they're in the top five in fielding percentage. They go about their business a certain way. They make all the routine plays, mix in a few flashy ones, and day after day, they give their pitchers the best chance to be successful. Uh, couldn't help himself that time as he chases one below the knees at strike one. Oh, and two now as a curveball drops in there for a strike. And he struck him out. He's looking a lot sharper and has settled in here in the second inning. It'd be hard not to because that first inning was pretty much a mess. But I give him credit for letting it go and making some really good adjustments. And he gets ahead 0 and 1. Hey, I don't know what happened in between innings, but he went down that tunnel with a few of his teammates and some coaches and found a way to regroup because he's been really good this second hey. inning. After going out in the first, I thought it was going to be a super short outing. Cubs pitcher at the plate trailing with a 1 and 2 count. High fastball right there with a two strike count. You know what that might be doing? Setting up the next pitch could be that hard slider down and away. Something breaking down and away off the plate. And the throw is in time. It's a strikeout and the play at first goes two to three for good measure as the inning is over. Cubs are down in order, but they lead it three nothing. Leading off the inning, Kevin Kramer. Leading and they'll the need him to get something going here. Shot. Number 44. First offering on its way. Maybe nope. trying to back him up a bit there with the fastball. A ball and a strike now. He's set. Here comes the 1-1. One -one. High in the air out to center field. He's through first and hustling for second. And he's going to get to second now with nobody out. So with your pitcher due up next, you can either have him bunt or you can even think about having him show bunt to draw the corners in and then let him swing away. Depends on how much confidence they have in him with a bat in his hands. Standing in now, Jamison Tyon. Now a bunt attempt here. And this will be swept away in foul territory, and we'll see if they try the bunt again. And he'll try and get his man to third here as he puts this one down.
Here's Starling Marte. Now over one here in the this early going. Starling Marte. First pitch on its way. There's a fastball on the inner third taken for a strike. Kramer on second. Tyon on at first with nobody out. A 1-1 one nope, one count to the Pirates' leadoff nope, hitter. Well, those were a couple of close pitches right there in the inner part of the zone. Hitters will tell you, pitches in that location are tough to do anything with. From the stretch. And the low 80s slider is in there, and he's in control one and two. And this is swung on and missed. Five quick strikeouts now, and that's your first out of the inning. Well, this pitching staff has done a pretty good job right there. That's the fourth second time he struck out, Adam. and we're only in the second Frazier. game of this series. Digging in, Adam Frazier. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. First pitch coming, here it is. That one's down around the knees, taken for a strike. Fastball strike three called as he couldn't pull the trigger and there are two away. You hear that phrase climb the ladder yeah, all the time and that's pretty much what he did right there. When you change the hitters eye level with each pitch in that at bat it becomes very hard for him to adjust and put the bat on the ball. He made that strikeout look real easy. Into the box now number 16 as the first pitch misses to him it's ball one. Two down, runners at first and second. Fastball just inside. Well, I know the last thing he wants to do is load the bases right here, so the pressure is on right now to get back in the strike zone. Two balls and a strike. Grounder down the line at third, but this will be a foul ball as that evens things at two and two. Two men are on with two men out. Hit hard. Foul. And he struck him out. His seventh of the ball game, and that ends the inning. Pirates strand a couple. They trail in this one, three nothing. Digging in for his second at bat, Ben Zobrist will begin things here against Jamison Tyone. One of the keys to securing a win, they want to keep the first run and try to build that lead as much as they can moving into the later innings. Smoke the other way, high and deep to left. Dickerson going back on the warning track. He makes the catch. And with one away, let's give you a look at the standings in the NL Central entering play as you see where these two teams sit in relation to one another. Coming to the plate, Chris Bryant, 0 for 1 after a pop out in foul territory his first time through. Yeah, we used to have a saying right here you would stride to the plate for this AB trying to chop wood. Not in today's game. You just want to get your bat plane on the same path of the ball. Can't continue to swing under those elevated heaters. Good fastball down around the knees there, taken for a strike. And he pumps the fastball by him here. One and two now. Oh, don't know how you lay off that one, but he did, and it's two and two. Pretty good discipline right there with two strikes. That's a tough sweeping slider. Not many guys lay off that pitch. Got him. Anthony Rizzo stands in now. An RBI double is what he was credited with his first time around. 
Yeah, he jumped all over that first pitch last time up. Interested to see if he has the same approach this A.B. And he turns this one around high and deep to center field. Just missed a home run to the deepest part of the yard. It's off the wall. And he will pull into second with a two-out double. He's been making it look really easy out there. Two at bats, two doubles. They might want to think about pitching around him the next time he steps in because he looks locked in for this one. So a runner in scoring position with two men gone. And into bat next, the versatile weapon, Javier Baez. From the stretch, here's the pitch. And he fouls this one off. Here comes the 0-1. Takes this the other way to right. And nothing will come of the two-out double as the inning is over. Danger averted following the two-out double. Don't touch that remote. More on MLB Network right after this. Now at the plate, Corey Dickerson. He flew out in his last at-bat. Corey Dickerson. First pitch on its way. Fouled off. No, the 0 1 is a fastball low, and that evens the count at 1 and 1. One ball and two strikes to count. The 1 2. Is a wave and a miss. He struck him out. Boy, he's really on a roll now in the hill right now. Right as we go. roll through it again, Referee. remember, he struck out the side in the last inning, and now he picks up right where he left off by striking off the leadoff man here. Let's see if he can keep this going for a little bit. Gregory Polanco is in for his second plate appearance as he looks at a ball. It's 1 0. Oh. Fouled away. No runs, two hits, and no errors so far for the Pirates. Outside, two and one. That curveball stayed up in the zone. You'll see that often early in the game where a pitcher's trying to find that release point, particularly with his off-speed pitches. We'll have to keep an eye on him, see if he's able to settle down as this game moves on. And, Dan, that's a pretty good example of why he's such a great pitcher. Yeah, stuff. Stuff is obviously the important key to being dominant on the mound, but it doesn't mean a whole lot if you don't have outstanding control to go along with it. But he does, and he really spotted that pitch. He's set. Here's the 2 2. And he's getting his money's worth up there now. It's full 3 and 2. Looked like he tried to elevate a fastball on that 2 2 pitch there, but kind of overdid it. With a pitch that high, it's pretty easy to lay off if you're the hitter. And another foul ball. The next 3 2. And this is strike three called. Make it five straight punch outs. Two away now. Man, he is looking flat out unhittable on now the mound batting. right now. That's five straight Francisco punch outs. I love it. But I think he might want to get his defense involved at some point so they don't fall asleep. In now, Francisco Cervelli as he will look at a first pitch fastball for ball one. No runs, two hits, and no errors so far for the Pirates. And he misses again, 2-0. and Back-to-back oh. -back pitches, they've gone away. Do you tell yourself as a hitter he wants to come in right here? I don't think so. I think he's trying to find that outside corner and adjust accordingly. Hayward will get there, and he puts it away to retire the side. One, two, three, go the Pirates. They trail it here, three to nothing. Ready to take his hacks again. Kyle Schwarber. Yeah, as he'll look to follow up the two run homer he launched over the wall last time up. Yeah, that last at bat, Daddy. He turned that fastball run. He didn't hit it a ton. He didn't hit it a country mile, but hey, listen, a home run is a home run. Swing, line, drive. That's going to be trouble. Running hard. He's digging for second. 
And he'll pull into second here with nobody out. Wow, not sure what the pitcher was thinking. Serving up a fastball right over the heart of the plate. His eyes got as big as saucers as he blasts this thing, putting himself in the scoring position to start off the inning. Into the box, Wilson Contreras. As the first pitch to him is taken low and away for ball one. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Now the 1 0. A swing and a miss, strike one. He's been getting lit up all game, and there's a common denominator. He keeps missing right down the middle of the plate. Case in point with that last one. Now a good pitch around the knees, but it doesn't quite catch the bottom of the zone. The 2-1. Grounded back up the middle. Kramer ranging up the middle. And a bit of a high throw that time, but no problem over there at first as they record the out. Now batting. The center fielder. Jake Dead. Digging in to try it again. Jason Hayward. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Just able to get a piece of that for strike one. Hayward, or often just Jay Hay. He was a first round pick back in the draft of 2007. Yeah, he has turned himself into a really nice ball player. I wouldn't put him on a superstar level, but you know what? They didn't miss with this pick either. You go into high rounds and you carve out a career the way this guy has, nice pick. Marte is there now and he has it to God. Stepping in and ready for another shot. Daniel Descalzo, 0 for 1 for him here in this one. First pitch of the at bat. Lays off 1 and 0. You know, guys, these hitters have had some great looks at that slider so far, and clearly they're all on the same page. The plan is simple lay off that slider and make it bring up something straight in the strike zone. And that's right there, and we're even at one. Schwarber at second with two down. And he takes ball two, and it's two and one. This is skied into short left center. Dickerson's there. Makes the catch, and that'll retire the side. One left for the Cubs. They lead it three to nothing. Welcome back. Heidi Watney standing by as we get set for the top of the fifth. Matt, I had a chance to catch up with manager Clint Hurdle during the commercial break about the Pirates offense, and he told me he's pretty unhappy with their discipline at the plate in this one. He said they've been chasing at pitches out of the zone all game, which obviously doesn't usually lead to good results. Until they start being more selective with their swings, he said they will continue to struggle. Leading off for the Pirates. Good stuff, Heidi. Thanks. The first baseman from the stretch. 55. And it's fouled Bell. away. And he fouls this one off. Stays alive, still 0 and 2. Here it comes on nothing and two. Into center field, line drive base hit. That's what we refer to in the biz as a hanger right there. He's lucky he's getting this baseball back.
Standing in now, Kevin Kramer, as he will take strike one on the fastball here. No balls and a strike. One for one as he reached base with a double his first time up. Oh, and that is right there for strike two. Hey, I don't care what league you're in, American, national, if you're playing on Mars, if you get a heater down the middle of the plate as an eight-hole hitter, you better be swinging the bat. Nobody out, runner on first. This is on the ground over to first. And this will wind up working as a sacrifice as he steps on first, allowing the runner to move into second. Here's pitcher, one that you don't 50. see too often, right? Jameson, Safe at second Dion. base, but out at first. Great hustle there from the runner going into second. Really showed off his speed. Stepping in now, Jamison Tyon. As the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. Comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Fastball right back to the mound. And they will get no. He's in there. A very close play at first. The center field of the trip. Darling. So runners at first and second here with one away. And that'll bring up Starling Marte. A swing and a ground ball to third. There's Descalso on to Rizzo, and it's a double play. Side retired. Around the horn they go. Five to four to three to end the threat. More baseball on MLB Network right after this. Stepping up now, Hugh Darvish. He'll look to light a spark under this lineup that hasn't found the scoreboard since no back in the first inning. Yeah, and for me, the story has been the starting pitching they face. It's been very difficult to rebound and, quite frankly, dominate after getting roughed up a bit in the first inning of a start. So I'll give him a lot of credit for what he's been able to do. Swing and a miss on the slider, and he's quickly behind nothing and two. Well, there's a pitch we haven't seen in a while. If he's going to have the ability to flip that in there whenever he wants, this is going to be a tough test. Uh, got him on the good slider there. Swung on and missed as he's down on strikes for the second time tonight. I'll tell you, he's showing no signs of tiring right now. Still looks razor sharp from what I can tell, so I think he might last a while longer if he can keep this up. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Lined but speared on a hop. Throw on to first takes care of him. Two very quick outs to start the home fifth. Oh man, you can't hit a ball any harder than that. I mean, this ball gets on him in a heartbeat. Nice job to stay with it though, and then make the out at first. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Here's a slider to start things out. Looked at for ball one. Check swing, no swing, says the home plate umpire. Ball two. Man, he certainly got him protecting the plate right there. He almost got him to go around on that slider right there. I would not be surprised if he goes fishing a little bit further outside. Outside, 3-0 and oh now. Two outs, nobody on, but a base runner here feels like it would really change the complexion of the inning. Yeah, Matt, that's a great point. If this two-hitter finds a way on, it really sets up the very good middle part of the order to do some damage after all. Ready on three and one. Here it comes. Fouled off. Bases are empty here with two men out. On the ground to third. Throw on to Bell at first, and the side is retired. Three up, three down for the Cubs, but they're on top by a count of three to nothing. 